All right, let's learn to make authentic carbonara. We're going to need some bacon, spaghetti, four eggs, some Parmesan cheese, black pepper and some chili flakes. Start by cutting up the bacon. Now traditionally we would be using guanciale for this, which is pork cheek, but it has not been easy to find with the pandemic. So we're just using regular bacon today, something that will produce a good amount of fat. General rule of thumb with carbonara is you're gonna use one egg per person. We're having four for dinner tonight, so we'll be using four eggs. Break them into a small mixing container and then beat the eggs. Do not under any circumstances add any cream to this. There is no cream in traditional carbonara. Next, we're gonna add in the Parmesan cheese. We're gonna give this a good stir through until it combines well with the eggs. Just like this. And we're gonna grind in some black pepper, as much or as little as you like, but this is a recipe that does need quite a bit. Optional chili flakes. This is not traditional to carbonara, but we like some chili flakes in ours. Add the spaghetti to a pot of well salted boiling water and stir this through. Do not add any oil to this. You don't need to add oil to the water you boil your pasta in. All right, let's render the bacon. Give this a good uh, stir through and get the fat to start to come out while you're browning it. Just like this. You want quite a bit of fat left over. That's a lot of the flavor that's gonna be in the carbonara. Transfer the spaghetti over into the pan with the bacon. You can turn the pan down to be on a low heat at this point and make sure you do get some of that pasta water in there with it. Normally around a quarter to a half a cup of pasta water is a good amount. At this point, turn the heat all the way off and add your sauce just like this. Give it a good stir through. If you have it too hot at this point, you might scramble the eggs. So you wanna have that heat turned down. Add a nice generous portion to the plate We'll top it with the bacon that's left in the pan. And then we're gonna put some fresh black pepper over the top and then finish it with a nice dusting of Parmesan cheese. And there you have it, authentic carbonara. Give it a try, it's really good. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a comment, drop a like, and please subscribe for our future videos. Cabba, 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 carbonara!